But at the end of the day, it is an Indian film for me. It's, it's a film about our kind of emotion. It's a film uh, about just the way we express ourselves in, in movies. It's, 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 it's a lot of it is that. So for me, it is an Indian achievement. It is a matter of great pride for all of us who've been associated with the film, the cast, the wonderful talent here in the movie industry that we've been familiar with for so many years. You know, again, it, it's a question of the world waking up to our talent. So I think that it, it is a combined effort and therefore it needs to be applauded and celebrated here in the country as well. And also, lovely, in your experience with working with uh, Danny, as you had earlier mentioned in an interview that you were casting for the movie and then went on to co-direct the movie. Yes. So what was it like? And the casting was quite yes. a challenge. It was a challenge. It, it's been a fantastic, phenomenal, eye-opening, enlightening experience for me. It, really, all those words, absolutely from the bottom of my heart. You know, when I started out, it was an unusual film. Um, I was casting these characters that I'd never seen before in any kind of cinema. Uh, Salam Bombay, which is such a great uh, film about, you know, a street life in Bombay, uh, had, a, had a very particular take on it. But this was different in a way that it was much more, uh, it needed many more characters. It, need, it needed three people in three age groups. So nine people to play three people really and that was the most unusual thing started out just with that and then when I you know uh, convinced Danny that we should do one third of it is in Hindi because uh, that would really make it come alive and make it you know work uh, for us but also be true to the core of, of the subject um, and he agreed very graciously brought me on board as the co-director of the film especially for these young kids who speak only Hindi in the film uh, it's been you know and he's such a great man he's a legend he's a you know he's he's a visionary like no other and so it's been absolutely you know it's been it's been humbling to and inspiring to be with a man like that for all of us you know for, right from Irfan Khan and Anil Kapoor to A.R. Rahman I mean it's 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 become a film with no boundaries it's a film that you know nobody can claim as their own it's it's about us it's for everyone to see it's crossed and transcended every kind of small uh, defining boundary that I know of and Mayan, coming to you, the success of Slumdog Millionaire movie when the book rights were up for sale was not touched by any of the Indian production houses or for that matter any of the big production houses and was bought by a reasonable amount by a British film company. Why do you feel Indian filmmakers kind of shy away from subjects like these? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if it takes uh, Danny Boyle to make an entertaining, a truly entertaining film uh, about the poverty and about the class the class divide in which is such an important issue for us as a people we see it uh, I think uh, the Indian film industry needs to look at itself a little, a little closer but then having said that I'm not too sure if that particular book the said book that it's uh, that is uh, derived from is is some literary masterpiece either I think uh, I think the screenplay award that that uh, that they got uh, you know the Golden Globe that they got for screenplay I think it's very well deserved because somehow or the other it's it's truly it's very visually it's very cinematic I can't imagine that you know the story itself being that gripping as far as the book is concerned I may be entirely mistaken but it didn't seem like you know the book that it's from is is, is of a uh, you know of a very high quality or caliber but you know I have I have a small question to ask uh, and given that uh, you were you were talking to Lovelyne about casting I'm just wondering and, and you know this this was bothering me while I was watching the film uh, why would you have a person uh, with a British accent as the slum dog who's far from looking like a slum dog in the film itself for a film that's called slum dog millionaire and I had a, I had an issue, a bit of an issue with with uh, Dave Patel as 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 the protagonist given that you know he speaks in English and suddenly you know it starts to seem fake if if somebody who's lived in the slum in Bombay speaks with a British accent in the film, is, was there a reason? Was it to cross over audiences, or was there a brief that was given to to her to cast someone of a certain uh, of a certain kind of person that they would have for the for the hero's role? Lovely. Would you respond to that one, please? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, um, Gail Stevens, uh, very few people know, is the other casting director of the film. And to her credit, she's cast Dave Patel. So, so Dave is not my casting. The rest of the film is my casting. Gail Stevens, uh, the wonderful uh, British casting director, has cast Dave Patel. But I have, I'm in com complete, you know, we collaborated on it. And I was in complete agreement with her when, when she brought uh, Dave um, onto this film. And we saw his tests and... You know, uh, Mayank, I think that uh, Dev has a, has a kind of purity as an actor, which, which the soul of Jamal Malik required for this film. And I, I can assure you, I looked everywhere, all over the country, five different cities, uh, Bollywood, everywhere, and, and didn't find that kind of 
purity that, that, that we needed for Sir Jamal Malik. And I think, to his credit, he's done an amazing job. I mean, you should hear him talk uh, outside this film. And I think that he, he's done a great job. I think that he looks the part. I think he, he feels the part when he's sitting opposite this mega uh, man called uh, uh, Prem Kumar in, in the studios of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and is trying to, you know, get somewhere in life. And I think that that, that is the quality that, that Dev Patel had, which kind of, and you're right that, you know, it, it's a film that needed to cross over. It's a film that um, was not made just for India, in which case it would have probably been a huge Bollywood star playing that part. But this was a film which was, uh, you know, meant to reach out uh, to a lot of people. Um, the money for, for the film came from the West, essentially. That was the starting point. It was never meant to be a film which had one-third Hindi. It was never meant to be a film which was entirely going to be cast in, Indi in India. So it just so happened that um, we have, we, of course, and we know it, we have such great talent here in the country that we were able to cast all of them. And I wish, yes. Yeah. Well, yes, Mayank, I can. Mayank, have you got your answer? And here we seem to be running out of time. Thank you so much for joining us. And lovely, many congratulations.